All right. So does everybody have what they need to get through this? Yep. Yep. <clears throat> Probably not. <sighs> Sorry. You might re, re might you might recall a, a certain woman that was sexually harassed by a, a dad joke by Mr. Hugh Mungus. <laughs> Um, well, well, now we're going to hear Zarna's side of the story. To be honest, he points to himself. He says, my name is Hugh, Mo- Hugh Mungus. And he was, a, he was a man of heft. He was a Hugh Mungus man. Yeah. He wouldn't deny it. He even pointed to his gut, <laughs> not mm-hmm. his penis. But this young lady heard nothing but penis and yelled at him for several minutes because she had penis on the brain. Insisting. But she totally didn't sexually harass anyone. <laughs> Zarna's now, she's done three videos, and we're going to look at one of them, part two. We might uh, look at the others, depending yeah. on how long this takes. We're going to at least look at part two. And you can tell she's for real, because comments and ratings have been disabled. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Unless it's an ironic disabling. Mm. Mm-hmm. <sighs> trigger warning. There's a trigger warning. Contains, oh, content contains. Mention. What? <laughs> 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 okay. Content contains mention of sexual harassment, sexual assault, rape, violence, gun violence, which is different from violence, murder, imprisonment, historical trauma, abuse, and suicide. What the fuck all is mentions, historical trauma? Yeah. Just, all just mentions of these things, none of these actual things. Strong and explicit language, parental discretion is advised. Uh, it's like a church lady. In a patriarchal society, women are supposed to quietly submit to oppression. That's their role. We're supposed to accept crass jokes, innuendos, lewd gestures. That's why they have a government-funded organization to the tune of billions to combat said horrors. No, apparently, according to Zarna, the government is the patriarchy also. That's why nothing gets done. (laughs) In the name of feminism. Well, but why does feminism get so much money? If women's role is to take... They don't get enough. They don't... Okay, obviously you don't get enough. They need way more. They're struggling right now. Because women are still dying and getting raped. Uh, and being subject women. to sexual harassment. And these things don't happen to men. And being trafficked men. and... And these things don't happen to men. Physical intimidation, sexual assault, rape, and murder. Everyone knows that. What a lot of people don't know is that some women who've been forced to fill this role their whole lives can feel outraged when another woman refuses to play the part. It's called internalized oppression. I've dealt with all the insults without making scenes. She's so entitled, she expects to be safe all the time. Why have you cut the the eyes off of the top of the the picture of these women? Are you trying to dehumanize them? Because that's not cool. And I, and I, I notice you refer to that as outrage. This woman politely yeah. saying what they think. Might, might your actions that day have, have been categorized as outrage, Zara? Hmm. No. That's just rage. She's, outrage is what the out group does. That's right. She just turned all of those women into uh, nothing but a series of cock holsters. Ugh. Just mouths. I just... I, I saw what you did in that video, and all I have to say is, you make me not want to identify as a woman. I'm, I'm going to do a video that says how the left won, and why I am no longer a woman. There you go. Join Lauren Southern. <laughs> Thank you, Zarna. She's enjoying all of the perks <laughs> Thank now. you, Zarna. You've made me want to completely abdicate. Unfortunately, if I do abdicate Now we can just call you Al. Card, yeah. If I do abdicate my woman card, there's a lot of shit that I have to do, deal do, with. Do, 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 do. When I refuse to be silent and I raise my voice and I demand safety, it makes some women angry and afraid. A woman who dares to speak out in this culture of silence is a shock. Women like you make us all look bad. You're making women unsafe. You do! Yeah. You turned what was apparently a non-sexual joke about a man's size into a sexual joke. And you insisted it was sexual. You insisted on, on putting the sex in sexual harassment. And then you blamed it on your victim. And then you blamed it on the random men. <laughs> Whichever men you happen to speak to. By the end of the video, you were blaming the security guard for sexually harassing you. These are the actions of a psychotic maniac. Zana. 
Women have spent their whole lives worrying about what men think. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> <coughs> uh, God. But can it, can't you just stop that? Like, isn't it within your control? Don't men also worry about what women think? Oh, no, of course not. kind of influences their choices in life. Of course men don't. Maybe not, like, in the fear-mongering way that she's thinking, but I don't know. Ugh. What he's secretly... How, who, who has the authority to write an article entitled What He's Secretly Thinking About You? What? Who knows what that is? They're so used to being afraid. What happened to you wasn't even that bad. No, it, it wasn't. <laughs> Those are actually really good arguments. The, the, the top comment here, the one that's not highlighted, says, A joke name is not sexual harassment. I would have been wel- I would have welcomed that at any point while I was being guilted into sucking dick. They've <laughs> entered into the oppression Olymp- Olympics, Zana, and they're doing much better than you. Now, that's a pole vault. Well, all you can do is jump over a fucking tortoise. You would still insist that you're the winner of the oppression Olympics. How dare you trivialize sexual harassment like this? It's called internalized oppression. Instead of okay, yourself. anytime a woman says that your accusation isn't legitimate, it isn't past the smell test, it's internalized oppression. This, this woman is arguing that anytime a woman makes an accusation, she has to be believed on face value. Mm-hmm. And it's just, it goes straight to conviction. That's what she wanted to see. She wanted police to come in, take Humongous away, and jail him. And then jail themselves. And then jail themselves. <laughs> and anything less is oppression. And any woman who says, you know, maybe there should be some checks and balances to this system. Otherwise, we are going to very rapidly deteriorate into a Mad Max state of complete chaos. Um, Any woman who says that has internalized oppression. Not misogyny, oppression. Yeah. It's like a a man who's been in in jail for too long. And then he can't, um, you know, even if they have to let him go after 20 or 30 years... He, he has trouble reassimilating into society, and they call those that they call that you know they're institutionalized, like they're just unable to adapt. This is the same thing to her, I guess. I don't know. Instead of protecting each other, the sisterhood is fractured, divided, leaving us isolated and afraid. Queer and transgender people are even more isolated. None of us can be safe in such a culture. I agree with the men. That wasn't sexual harassment. You overreacted. <laughs> she did. If, and not just overreacting. I don't even, overreacting is an understatement. Of course there are men denying that I was sexually harassed. They have to deny it. Because otherwise they would have to admit that they've been sexually harassing women their entire lives. If every woman in the world says, I agree with you, Zana, that was sexual harassment, go, go. You'd go, see, this, this proves everything I say. But as it happens, Zana, every woman in the world... Is saying you're an idiot. That wasn't sexual harassment. Get the fuck over it. And what's this? Yeah, this just proves yes. that they're all internally oppressed. There is there is no fucking no answer for you. And what's the Sorry. sound? What's the sound of that chipping, or that jackhammer? At this point, is the sound of our civil society being destroyed by women like this? And there are women who are denying it because otherwise they would have to admit that they've been sexually harassed. And there are women who won't admit it even to themselves that they've been sexually harassed, assaulted, even raped. We'd have to enter a state of fragility and victimhood as characterized by Zarna herself. I think, I think, I think I'd rather die. We, mm. want, we wondered what you've been doing for the past couple of months, Zarna. Oh, maybe, maybe she's actually, after all this, she's admitting that she wasn't sexually harassed. But no, you were just looking through all the YouTube comments, collecting the worst ones, so you could make this series of videos and double and triple and quadruple down. <laughs> Whoa. Where do you go from this, though? I mean, like, when she's 80 <clears throat> years old, is she still going to be like, ah, man, harass me. Get no, she's going to be writing an article saying, I, m- I miss men, and it's their fault. <laughs> the trauma goes that deep. It's called internalized oppression. Okay, three women die every day in the United States because of male... It is an orphan statistic. It also means that about uh, 1,500 women in total. That's really low. Like, 1,500... I mean, uh, women are more yeah. likely to die of, like, 
dog savagings or their bathtub. Three women every day in the U.S. in a, in a country of 300 million? It's not too... We're not doing too bad. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good, actually, because if you made this about how many men die every day... Yeah. Well, it, I mean, they're not saying... They're saying die of male violence. We don't know okay. how many men die of female violence. No, because we don't usually consider it... Because they generally get the state to do their violence for them. Mm. Yeah, there is also that. Okay. Is she including the police? She probably is, isn't she? <laughs> oh, yeah, she probably is. Because the police are mostly male and they, you know, end up killing a lot of people. And as we but know, still, she hates cops. And I know every death is, is a tragedy, but a thousand five, a thousand fifty, that, that's a thousand fifty. It's still, you know, that's like, look at the traffic accidents. Look at how many people die from slipping in the shower. Look at how many people die of the flu or food poisoning. I mean, potatoes are more dangerous than dogs. Struck by lightning. And all of this counts as male violence. If saying humongous counts as sexual harassment, then fuck knows what counts as male violence. Yeah, that's true. <coughs> Why didn't you just let it go? You were so hostile to him. Yeah, you were sexually harassing him. You were insisting on making something he insisted was non-sexual into something sexual. You were sexually you were... harassing everyone in the fucking building. <laughs> I mean, if we hold you to the same standard you want to hold men to, you're failing. And, and you're, you're sort of a nasty criminal as well. All right. All right. She is nasty. Why did you escalate the situation? Nasty woman. In a patriarchal. Why did you escalate this situation? It seems like a downward spiral for anyone with a hugely debunkable mindset that goes psycho in front of a camera. Vivi, viva, viva la, de. Viva, viva la anti-fame. Thank you. It's okay. Yeah, I don't even know. Like, Okay. Oh, they're implying that she's going crazy. Well, she was. I don't know that and there's anyone... Point me to somebody who watched the video and says she was totally sane, except for the person making this fucking video. Why did you escalate the situation? I just can't so even sad. imagine the reverse. And this is why women get such a bad <coughs> rap in our society today, because you can't imagine the reverse. You can't imagine a man running after a woman, insisting she makes something he insi or she ins insisting she makes something that she insists is non-sexual into something sexual, and then have the guy turn around and accuse her of sexual harassment. And, and then going up to every woman he can find, demanding to know both of her names. Yeah. <laughs> and trying to get her sent to jail. Yeah, because they sexually harassed him. Because they refused, I don't even know what they did at that point, the other, the security officers. I mean, can you imagine that? You can't. And that's why people think women are insane in this society, because they get away with this shit. And you can't even imagine a man doing it. <sighs> yeah. Treat them with kid gloves, you'll make kids. In a patriarchal society, women are always considered to be the problem. So even when she defends herself, she's seen as the aggressor. Always considered to be the... Well, you are the problem when you engage in something criminal. Like, you, you were doing what you accused she, him of. She initiated that conversation. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it, man walks up to a woman, initiates a hostile conversation with her, she makes some vague reference, and then he runs after her, insisting that she turn that reference sexual. What the fuck does that look like, Z Zarna? <sighs> She's about to, to show the dreaded moment when she was sexually harassed. Now, I, I, I don't know who the hell made this for her, but they're obviously pretty good at making videos. She's found some professional video makers to put this together. And I can just imagine the director, who doesn't know anything about this, saying, Okay, Zarna, so, so find me the clip, the clip where you actually got sexually harassed, and I'll put it up in slow motion. It'll look really... What? Okay, that's the clip, is it? That's the worst thing he did. Okay, we'll, so we'll play it in super slow motion <laughs> with some really scary music over it. Yeah. And I think, I think it'll, it'll look like the violent crime you wanted to. <laughs> ah! Go for it. Look at that face. <clears throat> super predator. I know. The guy's he, he looks like the It looks like the face of a guy who just doesn't want to be there. He, he looks like a cheetah. It looks like the face the of the guy who's just sort of edging towards the door. Yeah, he's yeah. like you're in the party. He's like, you know, I got, I got, I got to go feed the canary. Yeah. I got to feed my, I got to feed my whatever I have. <laughs> I just, you know, I have something I want to feed. <clears throat> Bye. Okay, my my fish. The man who sexually harassed me, he was hostile. <laughs> 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 I got I'm you. I'm sorry. 
Oh, I have this. you, you're mine. Oh. Well, I, I actually <laughs> see such hostility. I just actually see fear. That was I'm really good editing by the by the part of the camera people. It's like they know. <laughs> like, it's like everyone knows except her. Sexual harassment is hostile. He escalated the situation when he repeated his sexually harassing words. <laughs> you asked him to! You literally <coughs> fucking said, can you repeat that? <laughs> oh, well, whatever you said, it was... Humongous oh. what? Humongous, Humongous what? what? Humongous what? Humongous what? She wanted him to say cock. Yeah. She ran after him. This non-sexual thing you said, I insist you make it sexual! <laughs> I'm gonna put it in my fat bank. Well, so, so then I can charge him with sexual harassment. Bag. But he didn't say it, and he still did. Would he you, stuck to it. Would you actually suggest that it wasn't sexual at all in the beginning? No, I mean, no, I don't think so. Yeah. It was just, it was stupid. It was a stupid joke It was joke a stupid joke. Size. I mean, I, you know, it'll go down in history now. Everyone's like, now it's got so much baggage attached to it, it's way more hilarious. I, I swear I've followed on Twitter by like 10 different people called Humongous. Yes, yeah, so am I. <laughs> the security guards escalated the situation when they criminalized me. So, <laughs> they so, escalated. Yeah, the, the security situation. guards showed up out of the blue and escalated the situation by not giving you their names either. <laughs> At first. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. It's your fault you've been threatened with violence. The police would have helped you if you'd just been nice to them. Well, or had just cooperated with them. And oh, what, we don't even know if she started accusing them of sexual harassment. Police have great advice on how not to get raped this Christmas. File to rape rape. What the hell is rape rape? <laughs> Aaron, Aaron Gloria Ryan. Double rape. Where are these websites that she goes to? Oh, God, they're feminist websites. Oh, yeah, or, no. or they're mainstream like, Can you websites. imagine a woman on Christmas like thinking about her plans, and then she's like, I think, you know what? I heard there's a great article that tells you how to avoid getting raped by cops. I'm going to go read that, because I don't really want to get raped this Christmas. Rape Maybe next cops. Christmas, though. Articles Where's the cops? article about teaching cops not to rape women? <laughs> <laughs> Many cops are ex-military. Eight out of every ten women in the military experiences rape and or sexual assault while serving. All right, Azarna. Actually, if you look at the statistics, uh, first of all, a military environment is 20% female, 80% male. The proportion of rapes is probably going to be proportionate to the number of rapists in the environment. That means... Statistically, if there are equal numbers of male and female rapists, there are going to be four times more rapists in the military, more, four times more male rapists than female rapists in the military. And yet, when you look at the statistics and you break it down based on the proportion, uh, the likely proportion of rapists for men and women, women in the military are actually very rapey. And men in the military, a lot less <coughs> rapey than their female um, compadres. And not just that, there's a surprising statistic in there as well. There's a lot of rape of military men by civilian women, or sexual assault of military men by civilian women, as reported by military men. And the reason why is because who the fuck is going to believe a male soldier was raped by a female civilian? We, we actually have a man, James Landreth, who was essentially laughed and mocked for being in that situation. Even though the person who gave him an offer uh, to have a place to, uh, she essentially said, you can sleep it off on my couch in, in my hotel room, was a pregnant woman who, when he woke up with her mounted on him, said, I will charge you with rape if you do not submit. And guess what? That's a really quick way to get compliance out of men, Spe especially men who know that they have no fucking chance Happens quite a lot in Germany, by the way. Makes you wonder how often they do it to the immigrants. Mm. Ooh, shots fired. <clears throat> okay. That's, of course, the ex-military that are cops, um, which she doesn't really say. She just says many, which is a weasel word. We don't know how many many is. But how many of those ex-military actually make it back to choose to be cops? It's officially called unwanted sexual contact to protect the men who perpetrate these crimes. 
And those same men go into our police forces. That's why Blue Lives Matter have been posting hate videos about me, ensuring that rapists and stalkers target me. The cops are the very perpetrators of rape culture. But women have been indoctrinated into thinking that the police are there to protect them. The truth is, the cops are twice as likely to commit domestic violence against their partners. Bullshit. This is the most, <coughs> this is the fucking woozle of woozles. I actually spent ages tracking down where this came from, where this particular statistic came from. I found the goddamn article. It was, of course, behind a paywall. I actually took screenshots of the, the relevant details. This is complete bullshit. It is, what it actually found is that there's twice the rate of domestic violence in families with, a cop, uh, with an employed cop, but it's not the cop doing the violence. It's his partner. And that was turned into men, uh, into male cops being twice as likely to engage in domestic <clears throat> violence. It is so fucking dishonest, the use of this statistic. Hmm. And how, how many cops are duty bound to stick to the Duluth model? If there's anyone they're supposed to protect, it's women, even women who are fucking stabbing their husband or their partner or whatever. They are obliged to come around and arrest the victim of that domestic violence. So what the Jesus shit are you talking about? Be nice and stay quiet. That's how we women stay safe. Who the hell said that? Did someone actually write that in a comment? No what woman said that. stays quiet? I mean, even we don't stay quiet. Well, except for Lindsay. <laughs> I mean, uh, we're supposed to be the ultimate patriarch, and we are a bunch of the, the yappiest creatures on the planet. And we're supposed to be the handmark handmaidens of the patriarchy. Uh, okay, what does it mean to be a nice girl? In many ways, it's up to you, but it is most basic. It's about being pleasant to be around, friendly to other others, considerate of people, and unwilling to participate in a mean-spirited gossip. A nice girl is someone people consider approachable and reliable. So what do they say when they say, don't indulge in toxic masculinity? They're saying, be a nice guy. But then they go ahead and say, don't be a nice guy, because that's not good enough either. Oh. <laughs> okay, so what? Th this is, has nothing to do with being silent. It has to do with being a decent person. I mean, I would include more integrity, more standing up to injustice and all that. But, I mean, being pleasant to be around, friendly towards others, considerate of other people, and unwilling to pr participate in nastiness, like being nasty towards another human being... How did this become oppression? You're being oppressed by basic standards of human decency. That means you don't want to have to abide by them. What does that say about you? She's a rebel. And, uh, she lives by her own rules. She's an independent woman that don't need no man. She's a cunt. There's that too. Women are never safe in a rape culture. <laughs> Drink. <laughs> <coughs> what? <sighs> Human trafficking victims. Seventy percent women and girls. Thirty percent other. Other. Yeah, that's right. Just other. Unnamed. Does that? I guess that includes the trans people. No. Look. <laughs> this is. Uh, is this uh, human trafficking victims? Yeah. No, actually, this is incorrect. If you're just talking about human trafficking, um, human trafficking, including labor, is uh, labor trafficking is the large one apparently. Although we don't keep as much statistics on it because it isn't as sexy as uh, the sexual trafficking of white women. Yep. Um, and uh, so, but it's actually it's actually more men. Like when like when Europe orders another million men from Afghanistan and fucking Sudan. Sorry, I mean Syria. That's not trafficking because we call it something else. Mm -hmm. Particularly when we reward our sexual harassers by being nice to them. But victim blaming is a key component of internalized oppression. It's because people blame themselves when they're abused. They feel ashamed. No, it's because women see through other women's shit. We don't, we, we, we are more likely to do the shit and we're also more likely to call other women out on it. Men are more likely when a woman says, I was sexually harassed by that man to get you know, to, to, to want to beat the crap out of him. I guess another woman is more likely to say, what? <laughs> <laughs> or at least, and eventually question. 
Actually, for all we know, that woman who said what in the, in the video might have been reacting as in, what? Why is that social harassment? Yeah, that's true. Uh, hear what you want to hear, don't it's you? It's possible. Yeah, it could be. And, the, and I think it's like an aspect of chivalry. Men are more concerned about using their physical presence to, to intimidate women. And women can be, hopefully, and I hope they get more and more concerned as they realize that women like Zarna here are destroying our society, our civil fabric. Um, women should protect men against false accusations. So I'm okay with women questioning accusations, which is what you call victim blaming, which is a necessary process of due process in a civil society. Not every accusation should result in a conviction, and certainly not without a defense. Do you, do you see the thing on the right? Audio may cause triggers. Pause if needed. <laughs> I think to the pause. How do I do it? Triggers. So when they see others being abused, they blame those others too. They ask, "What were you wearing? What were you doing? What were you saying?" Instead of asking, "Who was he? How did he get away with it? How do we stop him?" What? Shiver me triggers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so remove everything in this video that would be solved by making an accusation a conviction. What's left? Nothing. It's Zarna mugging into the camera for seven and a half minutes. Yeah. And sexually harassing and victimizing all the men she came across. But when we blame her for doing that, we're just blaming the victim. Because Davo. Davo all the way, baby. You were wearing ethnic clothes, dear. You were asking for attention. Women of color suffer the most from rape and sexual assault. Men target us because they know we have no power. They know the system won't protect us. That's called white supremacy. That's called white patriarchy. Yes. yes. What happened to her was white supremacy. Yeah, she, yeah. she harassed uh, an Italian gentleman and then went on to harass a few Turkish gentlemen. And who's to blame? White men. And we're supposed to think you're not a fucking flaming racist, Zana. <laughs> But the white women tell us that the way to deal with it isn't to stop men from targeting us. It's to hide our own bodies and our identities while trying to be white. That's even more white supremacy. So white women's, apparently, white women's answer to women of color's oppression is for them, for women of color to become more like white women so they will suffer less oppression, but still oppression, but less oppression. And so that's a different problem. That's white supremacy on top of patriarchy. Continue. Yeah. I just boggle. Just shut up, okay? You're acting like a crazy woman when all he did was tell a joke. The word crazy is used to marginalize anyone the patriarchal power structure wants to shut up. Not only are women and people of color marginalized this way, but people with mental disabilities too. So if you are crazy, legitimately crazy, we can't say you're crazy. Because that'll be marginalized. Because it marginalizes people. And it would be patriarchy. Yes. Because only, only some kind of male malevolence actually diagnoses mental illness. I don't know. It's called ableism. And by the way, crazy isn't a mental condition. It doesn't actually mean anything, except that someone is trying to silence you. Oh. Well, why did you just say what you said? <clears throat> you just said calling people crazy fucking... Uh, is insensitive to the mentally ill, but it doesn't mean mentally ill. <laughs> You just contradicted yourself in 10 fucking seconds, woman. It's a type of turn policing, and turn policing is what happens when those in power. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you see the joke I saw. <laughs> what, what was the joke you saw? I got a, a little bit. It's, it's a shame the spot on her forehead, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's so wrong, but it's so great. You must have known. You must have known we'd laugh for real, real at that. Oh. oh my god, what are the other things that are being said? Um, Away from the decent real world. You can see examples of a scold's bridal in many museums. They were designed for nutters like that woman. <laughs> oh god, she got <coughs> Three types. I understand that what you said is insensitive. But it is hilarious. Uh, so I approve. With what you say, so they argue with how you say it. It's a tactic used primarily with women and people of color. You're so angry. 
You're so crazy. You're hysterical. You're irrational. You're raising your voice. That's tone policing. She knows what tone policing is, all right. <clears throat> all right, let's see what this dude has but to say. But why isn't she using any examples of it? Well, no, she lives it. I mean, that's what feminists do. Ah. They tone police everybody, everywhere, at all times. In fact, I think when she was talking to Humongous, that was her goal. Was it like the moment he made that joke, her goal was now to make him feel really, really bad for having made that joke. And it just didn't work on him because he was just like, I'm telling a joke. Let me tell my joke. She couldn't even tone police him because it's not as if he said it in an aggressive or even mean tone. No. He said it. He said a dad joke in a dad way. That was <clears throat> language policing. And literally policing because she tried to get him thrown in jail. <laughs> you need to stop talking. Women are too emotional to talk rationally about anything. Savage. <laughs> Zara. Zara. Jesus. Well, she's kind of... I try not to believe that. I honestly do. <laughs> Savage. Animal. Boy. Ape. That's how the white supremacist patriarchy has referred to men of color for hundreds of years. They were kept as slaves, as objects, as entertainment. Men of color were never allowed to be men. How does this become men of color? This whole story is the story of you victimizing, harassing, and verbally abusing men of color! You stupid cunt! <laughs> This historical emasculation has led to some men of color affirming their manhood by abusing women. It's their attempt to have power like the white man. Whoa, whoa, go back. Let's see how she... What? So... So... Oh my god, no. Oh god, no. <laughs> so the stuff that a black men do that's destructive is them... They're doing it because white men made them do it. Internalized patriot... Oh, I didn't, I didn't read it. Oh, go oh, back, go, go back. Oh, I will. Okay, okay, okay. So this is internalized oppression by her Indian brothers. Hey, bro, I'm Indian as well. So is Zarma Joshi. Just saying, we love to crack puns in India too. That doesn't mean I'm not ashamed that someone with a negative IQ nowadays represents my culture. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Zing! <laughs> Come shots fired. But the white supremacist patriarchy will never let them into that boys' club. So this is, this is internalized depression. Are you accusing this man of sexual harassment as an Indian or as a woman? Because I think you were doing it in the context of being a woman. I, I think the, the fact that you're an Indian is irrelevant to this. Yeah. You're just bringing it up because some people who are saying, are saying that they wish that you didn't represent their culture. Although I kind of wonder what my Indian cab driver would have said if he had seen this video. He would have just, what the fuck is this shit, man? <laughs> very, very bad. He was, he was awesome. That guy was right awesome. from Triple this is me. You can sort of see how it went. Because she's had so many comments like this. For the first thousand of those comments, she probably thought, oh, well, they're all white men. Uh, they, I don't have to listen to their opinion because they oppress everyone. Then she got a few that were confirmed as women. So she went, oh, I don't have to listen to them because they've got internalized oppression. And she got it from some Indian men as well, and some, from men of all different colors. And she went, oh, they have a different kind of internalized oppression, which causes them to oppress others. The, uh, women don't have the same kind of internalized oppression. <laughs> this isn't not anything to do with me hating white people or men. Yeah. Oh, God. It's just a bunch of colored men that want to be white and a bunch of women that have just fallen in love with their oppressors okay that's what it is i think except for her she's free she is woke she, yeah i think you're uh she's i woke. think your cab driver would probably not want he this would woman. love this he I would mean, not want this woman in his cab no he would not it'd be very very bad <laughs> you're very very entitled and rude <laughs> i'm gonna put this on gawker <laughs> so it's petted <laughs> Please don't get that samosa. That doesn't affect your life like it affects mine. <laughs> That's why black men get shot in the streets. That's why brown men get profiled as drug dealers and terrorists. Mm? What the fuck? Do you, do I'm, gonna, I'm trying to follow the logic. You got sexually harassed. A bunch of Indian men called you out on your bullshit. 
you said they're suffering from internalized oppression, which causes them to oppress you. And suddenly we're talking about these guys getting shot by the police. Yep. This is some seriously fucked up. We need some inertial dampers with these kind of hijinks. Uh, all of this, like, humongous causes terrorism in Syria. It's like the <laughs> butterfly effect. He says that, and then there's, like, this cascade of events. And suddenly there's a building that explodes in the Middle East, and it's humongous' fault. Because of white supremacy. Somewhere there's like, two white guys giving each other a high five. As that's exploding in this like third world country, yes. Humongous did 9-11. She's figured it out. <laughs> humongous did. White man made him do it. <clears throat> 9-11 was a humongous job. <laughs> as far as the white supremacist patriarchy is concerned, people of color are animals to be used up and thrown away. Men of color are kept down with prisons, detention facilities, deportations, wars, and death. So when men of color go after me, sexually harass me, stalk me, they're aiding and abetting the white supremacist empire and they don't even know it. And the third comment here is, why hasn't there been a feminist rally bombing yet, although there is all these other ones? Obviously a point about some kind of hypocrisy, but they've gone ahead and only highlighted the first half of it because <laughs> it looks a little bit like a threat mm -hmm. without the context of the second half of that and, sentence. And pretended like we're not going to be able to read that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, she's, yeah, she wants to spotlight stuff that you should, don't look at what's over here, just read this part. Just sort of like the way she highlighted <clears throat> what Humongous said to try to make it sound like it was sexual harassment. The white supremacist patriarchy will continue to keep us down. So let us come together to stand against oppression. Let us come together to end rape culture. Was she getting sexually harassed? Was that sexual harassment? Was All those man kid? hands on her? I don't think those people She's so are dramatic. Her. I wonder if fem now I'm wondering her if the by if indulging <laughs> that reality. Yes, they are. Let's see that reaction again. She she, she, she looks like looks She's like acting. <laughs> If that's acting. That might just be a face of thank God we got through the take. <laughs> yeah, actually. Let, let's let's humanize her a bit more. No. <laughs> no. No. I will not. Do you want to do the next one? No. <laughs> let's see where we're at. Are we gonna like do a thing on the next one or just can we just watch the next one? I let's do a thing it. on the next one. Alright. Let's get 